lost some friends. How can I even start to make a man? <laughs> Clean up aisle Cameron. Say what? I, I said clean up aisle Cameron. I'm sorry, what? I said clean up aisle Cameron. I'm really sorry. I was listening to loud music. My ears are ringing. I still can't hear you. Clean up aisle Cameron. What? Clean up aisle Cameron. I didn't hear what you said, by the way. No, I, I just said clean up aisle Cameron. You're really gonna have to speak up, buddy. I mean, I'm like totally deaf in this ear. Clean up aisle Cameron. What? Clean up aisle Cameron. One more time. Clean up aisle Cameron. Why don't you just write it down? You no, know, it's just a stupid little comment. We could just let it go. No, come on, write it down. I want to know. Oh, geez. <laughs> Why? Just say it again. Clean up aisle Cameron. Again? Clean up aisle Cameron. One more time, buddy. Clean up aisle Cameron. <laughs> Did you just say clean up aisle Cameron? Yeah. <laughs> Are you Cameron? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That is hilarious. Hey, I'll be here all week! <laughs> <laughs> what? The fall of the House of Usher, the murders in the Rue Morgue, Lenore. Edgar Allan Poe was one of America's most beloved and misunderstood authors. Shrouded in mystery, a recently recovered memoir may help us understand what inspired Poe's works. Kill Bosby presents The Half Works of Edgar Allan Poe. Stories are nonsense. I, I, all the characters have or are dead wives. I, I can't print this in my magazine. They'll laugh me out of town. You're supposed to have ideas. The manuscript was due days ago. Mr. Graham, that is what you pay me for. I, I have ideas. I have great ideas. Then let's hear them then. Okay, all right. Um, picture this. A man and his horse travel down a dark, dreary, Road. It's night, and the wind is chilly. Good, 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 go on, go on. And in the distance, he sees a light. But the faster he chases it, the further it gets away. Ooh, scary, scary, go on. So he rides faster, faster, until his back breaks and his hands blister, and his horse can barely stand. And then, then they see it. What does he see? He sees another man holding a lantern. What a foolish man. Edgar, that story was awful. Did you just make that up right now? No. No, I, all right, I have other ideas. I have other ideas. Ah, picture this. There's a ship. The ship is carrying spiderwebs. Spiderwebs. Or bones or something scary, okay? Something creepy. And then they sell the bones to... Orphan. Edgar, are you, are you pulling my leg? Leg. Tell tale leg. Tell tale spleen. What is a spleen? Edgar! Mr. Graham, I have the money makers right here. Two women fall in love with the same man who turns out to be a hot air balloon. Okay, uh, a grave digger and his dog go to Cuba. They sell charm bracelets on the beach. Okay, that actually sounded insane as it came out of my mouth. Ah, a young lamb is slaughtered, 
cut and quartered, stewed with carrots, add salt, pe- oh, I'm sorry, that's a shepherd's pie recipe. Ooh, ooh. A man yells at his neighbor for stealing his pajamas. His dead pajamas. My magazine is due to print today! Ah, a raven. A raven? Go on. A man sits in his study, lamenting the loss of his dead wife. She's left him alone, and he hears a tapping. The tapping drives him mad. It crescendos until the man has to find out where, where is it coming from? And there on the other side of his door, he sees a lone, stark raven. And the raven speaks. And it says one ominous phrase. What's the phrase? Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't Kevin's room. You're fired, get out! Knew that right away. Okay, if you guys could pick one person from history to have dinner with, who would it be? I'd have to say Albert Einstein. George Washington. Hmm, definitely Cleopatra. What about you, Jesus? Oh, can we not say people in the room? Because I was going to say Carl. No, we could say people in the room. Yeah, we can. Oh, sure, that, that makes sense. That. Oh. Okay. January 3rd, 2101. Humanity will remember this day as the day researchers at the Ultra Collider created time travel. Now let's go kill Hitler. Maybe we should do some studies first before we go and disrupt the fabric of time. That's why I'm head of operations and your chief bitch. I am the safety officer here. It's my job to tell you when you might do something to go and rend the fabric of the universe. Which, I might add, happens surprisingly a lot with you in charge. I knew you'd say that. That's why I already went back in time and teabagged you. What? Yeah, I went back to last night, snuck into your room, and put my balls in your mouth. Eh? Give me that. Give me that. No, give me No, give it. No, give it. Ah! No, do! January 3rd, 2101, humanity. Seriously, why did you just punch me in the face? Because in an alternate timeline, you put your balls in my mouth. Asshole. You did that too? Don't! January 3rd, 2101. Humanity will remember this day as the day that researchers at the Ultra Collider created time travel. Now let's go kill Hitler. Or we can do some more studying before we go and disrupt the fabric of space time. <clears throat> so you never. Told me the story of how you got that dick tattooed on your face. I was just a little kid. Mm -hmm. So long ago, I just remember mm -hmm. this strange man, crazy eyes and crazy grin. Staying there, he was holding some sort of... You son of a... No! 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 no. Give me it! No! Give me it! No, don't! January 3rd, 2101. Humanity will... I did it! I went back in time and I fucked your mom. Noise! Give me that! Don't score! We could do more study before we disrupt the flow of space time. Too late. I went back in time to Ellis Island and changed your family's name. How was it growing up as Peter Fartson but one tasty cock? It's Dr. Von Tasty Cock, you ignorant piece of. Oh, no! Ah. January 3rd, 2101. Humanity? Just wait till you see what I did to your God damn it, stupid butterfly effect. You go. No, don't you dare. No. Ah, ha. No, don't. January 3rd, 2101. History will remember this is the day that I went back in time and took out the most vicious person ever born, Adolf Hitler. Adolf who? Exactly. 
He murdered six million Jews back in the 20th century and almost brought the world to its knees. I stopped all that from happening. What, with that and thing? And I brought him forward in time and had him fuck your mother! Wait, is he related to Space Hitler? <laughs> the leader of the Galactic Warmacht? The guy who blew up the Andromeda Galaxy with a dark matter bomb? The guy who created Space AIDS? He... also... fucked your mother. Son of a bitch! Uh, no! Give it! Uh, give it! Uh, no! Oh! Oh! Quick! Sweep up the pieces, we can put it back together in the Ultra Collider! Wait, what's an Ultra Collider? It's where we work! You mean the Museum of Interstellar Tolerance? What are you talking about, man? You're a scientist! I'm a janitor! Okay, uh, new plan. You don't tell anybody how I sorta of created space aids and I won't tell anybody that space settlers your dad. Deal. Mm -hmm. So anyway, my aunt Stripperelda was like, darling Dean, you need to get a job. And I was like, you know I can't get no job on account of my unwillingness to? And she's like, well, you can't live here no more unless you go on out and get a job. And I was like, but I ain't got no marketable skills. She's like, you can fold t-shirts, right? I was like, heck yep, I can fold t-shirts, but where the penis am I going to get a job doing that? She's like, down at the Gap. I said, I ain't going back to the Gap. The last time I was there, I fell in, and you left me there for eight days. She's like, I'm not talking about the Gap between the above ground pool and the chain link fence. I'm talking about the store. You like clothes, right? I was like, heck yep, I like clothes, but I can't afford none on account of me not having a job. That combined with my excessively sweaty thighs and my inability to feel shame is the reason I'm naked most of the time. She's like, just go on down to the Gap and apply for gosh and sake. I mean, do I love my Aunt Stripperelda? Heck yep, I do. But does she understand me one toad lick? Fart? No. I mean, I'm 33 years old. She still treats me like I'm 29. I don't know how to make it any clearer to her that I'm a woman, seeing as I got my breasts in my vagina out most of the time. Anyway, what was the question? Can I help you? Heck yep, yeah, you can help me. Help me make my living here at the Gap. Can you work weekends? Nope. All right. Heck yep, yeah, all right. Okay. You want a crack cookie? No crackers that taste like cookies. I call them crack cookies. That's my name. I call that all by myself. This one's a lime. You got crazy eyes. You ever do PCP? Can I have you um, walk <laughs> out of the room? Um, if you want to.